What is up, fishing freaks? Luke Reeser here from Too Fat to Hunt Outdoors. Welcome back to another episode. And today, just gonna do a quick little video. Um, I'm out here on the boat and I'm doing some tackle prep, getting some things switched around, and I'm working with my swim jigs right now. So I thought this would be a good time to show you guys kind of some tips, tricks, and hacks, um, things that I've learned over the years kind of the ways that I rig my swim baits that I think help get better bites and could ultimately maybe make you guys better swim jig fishermen or get more bites. So stay tuned, Tackle Talk starts right now. All right, so we'll get right into it. Apologize, it's really windy here. Um, hopefully with the mic hidden behind my camera, the wind won't be too bad. But first thing I'm gonna do is show you my two rods that I'm throwing swim jigs on this year, which is probably gonna change. Uh, changes all the time. But this is my primary, sw primary swim jig rod that I've been using this year. Um, it's a Dobbins Fury 735. And I got it rigged with 15 pound fluorocarbon on a Shimano Corrado, Corrado K, I believe. Um, and this is a Super K swim jig. This has been the best swim jig for me this year so far. Um, just white with a white Jurassic Plastics paddle tail. So that is real simple, real basic, and it gets the job done, especially in the springtime. Springtime is when I really like the paddle tail. Um, fish are eating shad, they're feeding up, getting ready to spawn. Great choice. And this paddle tail in particular kicks so great, it draws them in. I love it. Um, the other one here is a Dobbins Caden 744. And I've been using this on a swim jig a little bit this year. Um, this is a new rod for me this year. I've been doing a little bit of everything with it. And so far I've really liked it for an all around rod, but uh, this video is not about rods. So anyway, same thing, it's got 15 pound fluorocarbon on it. And this swim jig, I believe is an RC tackle swim jig with uh, a double, double tail menace kind of grub here. This is not Jurassic Plastics one. I think this is actually Biospawn. It's been on here for a long time. Um, it just caught my eye when I opened my swim jig box the other day, so I tied it on. But what I'm getting ready to do here is put braid on one of these because I do like throwing a swim jig with braid on it, especially on the Mississippi River. Um, throwing them into lily pads, grass, stuff like that, and that braid is a necessity for that. Um, I do love fluorocarbon on a swim jig in the spring. So, so far, the vegetation's been really sparse around here. But now that uh, we've had this week-long um, freaking heat stretch where the water temperature's up in the mid-70s now, it went from like 40-degree water, 50-degree uh, water to 70-degree water in a matter of a couple days. So the vegetation's starting to pop up, and every day is different. Uh, there's more and more vegetation every time I go to the river. So at least one of these is going to get fluorocarbon. They both might. Primarily this one because it's a it's a mag heavy. So that's the one I'm gonna be fishing in the junk with. This one might get keep braid on it just because I use it for other things. You know, I've been flipping with it and stuff, so it might fluorocarbon might stay on there. But um that's one trick that I like is having one with floral, one with braid. I feel like I get more bites in the springtime with fluorocarbon. Now Having said that, once I get this braid put on, I am going to probably have one of these two swim jigs tied on that braid. These are both Super K. This is a Sapphire Blue. This is a Kevin Rue Rueberry. But um, the reason that I'm putting these on is, is mainly because of the trailers. So I'm switching from a paddle tail to a single tail grub. And the reason I'm doing that is because I'm throwing them in the lily pads and I am fishing these a lot like a frog. I am keeping them on top of the vegetation. These are quarter ounce swim jigs so they stay on top very well. Awesome weed guards. And what I'm doing is I'm throwing them along with my frog. So if I'm frogging and I miss a blow up, I'm going to throw this right by there and keep it on top and see if I can get a bite. Or if I'm in a tournament 
and my partner's frogging, I might throw this instead and just not frog at all. And I will just fish it like a frog on top of the water behind him. And the reason for that is just a little different presentation. And I don't have to, if he misses one, I don't have to set my rod down, grab a worm rod or whatever and flip it in there to try to get that bite. I can just whip, I can just reel in really fast and whip what I got over there and let it sink. And that's what's cool about this is I can fish it as a frog or I can let it sink and fish it as a jig. And this works really good here. And the reason I like the single tail grub is because I feel it is the gives the best action on top of the water compared to any of the other uh, any of the other baits. And that's why I like this one because it's a super long one. This is a so this is a four inch, I believe, and this is a five five or six inch tail. And this is my main go to when I'm fishing it like a frog because this paddle is this tail is humongous and it kicks a lot of water and it doesn't take much to get this tail going so if i'm bringing it through the lily pads and it's just hitting the water just a little bit this tail is going to start spiraling and with it being a longer tail it just gives it that much more kick and will draw them the fish up to it looks a little goofy i know but it's a big profile like i said it really kicks a lot of water on top like that when you're keeping it on top of the water and draws them fish up to it okay another secret little trick i do i call it the naked swim jig so what i do is i take the skirt off i think i touched on this in my uh five best spring bait, bait videos but uh anyways i'm going to bring it out again today because it's swim jig technique that i really like to do so take the skirt off of a swim jig and just fish it like that just like a swim bait pretty much but you still got the weed guard um, you still got the swim jig style head that comes through cover great and you got your tail here and what i my two favorites that i'll use on the naked swim jig are this this is the drastic plastics manatee grub or i'll use a paddle tail and any paddle tail any style grub whatever you want to use but with the grub I like to, to hook it sideways like this, okay? So it's not like this, the hook coming out here like a craw. I hook it sideways, and the reason I do that is because when it swims, it's more like a fish's fins, you know, coming through the water, like a shad fin or a bluegill fin. And if you keep these together and don't pull them apart, it's even better, because then this all swims as one. So I'll do that a lot, and then if, I, if I'm struggling to get bites, I'll break it apart, because then they paddle a little more. You know, you get the double paddle. But you can see this one's really, really beat up because I've used it a ton and uh, it's probably probably done now. I keep it in my tackle box just in case I need it, but I'll just take a brand new swim jig and pull the tail off if I'm doing the naked swim jig. But yeah, that's, that's the naked swim jig. Here's a couple other ones I got out just to show you. This is one that uh, from Hutchie's Jigs, my brother-in-law makes. Um, same kind of thing, I got the man, the uh, manatee grub on there sideways, so it swims sideways. Um, that's one that I'll be using a lot now this year. I probably won't use a paddle tail as much anymore. Um, after spring, I tend to go away from the paddle tail, unless I'm fishing a naked swim jig. I just, I, I like using the, the manatee grub. I feel it's a great profile. It's a little smaller profile for summertime. I just feel I get more bites on it. Um, and then this one here, here's the Super K with a Jurassic Plastics paddle tail. This is all black and blue. So like I'll use this uh, if they're really feeding on bluegill. Um, there's a couple lakes I go to where this just crushes them completely black and blue. Or if the water's super dirty, I'll throw this. This thing kicks so much water, it's awesome. Um, here's a little different style one I wanted to show you. So that's another thing with swim jigs. Don't be afraid to not match the hatch. I know most people say you always got to match the hatch to get bit, but when you're swim jig fishing, you're getting a 100% reaction bite. And these fish are seeing on the river and stuff, they're seeing so many swim jigs, so many frogs coming through. If you can give them something that looks a little different, you're going to get bit. So this is a uh, like a green pumpkin kind of camel type skirt and then i got a what i call fourth of july craw um color drastic plastics thumper bug and i got the thumper bug hooked sideways so that they kick sideways and this thing really paddles but it's a huge profile it looks really stupid i know it looks really dumb 
but when you get it going through the water it's a big profile of a big bait fish and that could be the difference between you know if you're fishing a weed line and you got a school of 15 16 inches down there and there's a four pounder sitting down there he he's going to come up and get this before the small ones do because it's a bigger meal for her you know she'll eat this and she won't have to worry about eating for a little while because it's, it's going to fill her up so don't be afraid to be different last but not least this is a black and blue swim jig with a menace grub, or manatee grub on it and i got it rigged uh well i don't know if you'd say normal or typical um like a craw trailer and nothing wrong with that is a swim jig them paddle great but the reason that i have it rigged like that is because if i'm a, if i'm fishing on the back of somebody else's boat where i want to eliminate some rods this could be a twofer right here because this is my swim jig and this is also my flipping jig um, because i got that grub on there like this black and blue i can flip this thing anywhere i want so i'll be going down we're on a weed line fishing it like a swim jig get to the end of the weed line there's some lay downs i'm just going to flip it in there don't have to set down pick up a different rod or um anything like that or you're, you're fishing heavy weeds you bring it to the end you let it drop them tails are going to paddle and you're going to get bit so it's kind of a twofer i call it that's it folks just some tips tricks hacks that have helped me catch more fish on swim jigs over the years uh, swim jigs a very versatile bait like i said you can flip it punch it swim it soak it do whatever you want with it uh, just by switching up your trailer you can do so many different things with it don't forget to hit that like button hit the bells so get notified every time we put out a new video clobber that thumbs up luke reeser signing out always remember you're never too fat to fish <laughs>